Sad times, yeah. We're gonna head over, freshen up, shower up, because we're heading off into Disney Springs, remember? Re bleh, remember? So it's two drinks I've got to my head. <laughs> <laughs> from the Disney World Skyliners. Unfortunately, today is our last full day here at Disney World. Yeah, big sad news, it's gone so quick. The first part, when we was at Universal, went really slow, which we're really happy with. But since we got to Disney, it's really seems to have picked up. And no, it's not picked up, it's crept up on us. Yeah. Um, it's crept up on us. We're used to feeling like we've got two weeks, so at this point we're thinking, yeah, another four or five days, but no, last day. So, yeah, I mean, it's a big day though, very busy day. We're up out, we're up early. We're on our way to Epcot so we can get off at the International Gateway so we can make our way over to Yachtham Beach so we can make our breakfast character reservation for a uh, cafe. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Beach Resort. Home to a collection of tropical villages inspired by the colourful architecture and lifestyle of the Caribbean islands. Yeah, so <laughs> breakfast reservation there. Really looking forward to it. Character dining, Rachel gets some McDonald and Daisy. Um, Would she get the McDonald's this trip? No. So it was a really good job we managed to get that. We only booked that yesterday and we was really lucky to find that breakfast slot. We were originally booked for Topolinos, but Topolinos are still doing the kind of um, table style service with breakfast. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be a buffet, I think that's just the way it is there. Right, okay. So I know that um, Tusker House, they were, used to be a buffet, but then they went to the table service because of COVID. They are due to go back to buffet in about two weeks. I'm just not sure whether Topolinos was the same or not. Once we finish up there, we are going to be heading over into Epcot for the day. We did briefly go into Epcot one night during the week, but yeah, we haven't had a chance to do a full day there yet. So um, Rachel managed to get another Guardians Duty Plus. The virtual kids, yeah, she yeah. joined the Virtual Plus at 7 a.m. So the first time we went on it, we did do Lightning Lane because we needed to be very time specific. And while we are in Epcot, we've arranged to meet up with Annie Pete and the Alaska, who we both speak to on YouTube and Instagram. So it was great to get together, you know, yeah. fire a few messages over, find out what day we were both in the same park, yeah. and then uh, just spend a couple of hours with each other. So that's going to be really good. And then finally, on the evening, we're heading over into Disney Springs, over to Boathouse for our last evening meal. So, very busy day, breakfast, park, rides, Disney friends, meals, drinks, it's all going to be happening, so yeah, please join us. So that was what we just got in, the Skyliner. We got off there, we will be going that way, Epcot is literally right there, but we're going this way to Yacht and Beach to get our breakfast. So we got a beach club here with the blue buildings. And then just a bit further down, you've got Yacht Club over there with the, what, kind of like a greyish, pinkish, beigeish buildings. But yeah, they overlook uh, the lake and over there you've got Disney Boardwalk, which we do love Disney Boardwalk, didn't we? It's a shame we didn't get to go on this trip. But uh, I think Beach Club could be on our... Uh, it's definitely on our stay list. Yeah, it's definitely on our stay list. I mean, we did say we'd like to stop at Riviera, but we priced that up last night, didn't we? And <laughs> well, it's coming out just under eight grand for two weeks, so that won't be happening. But uh, I suppose you've just got to... I might be able to afford a night there. Yeah, yeah, you know. But maybe that was just coming up with larger rooms, you know, like suites, yeah. possibly. Oh, I didn't really look into it, but, um, oh yeah, Beach Club. We could be seeing you real soon. Uh, it's that way, isn't it, Ray? It's down there. Come on, look alive, Rachel. We did come in that way before, yeah. <laughs> Donald's, it's only number one. Yes, he knows. <laughs> you, got, you got a number one fan here, Donald's. He's got the ears and the earrings and everything. She's here for you, she's here for you. <laughs> Can we steal a couple of photos, Donald? One more. Perfect, thank you so much, Donald. <laughs> and looks like we've got our another favorite duck. We've got Daisy. Good morning, Daisy, you okay? I'm doubling up here. I'm doing photos and videoing. One more, Daisy. Perfect, thank you so much. 
So that was very uh, well timed. As soon as we sat down, we had all the characters just pile on us. But we're fine with that. We're cool with that. A little chance to get some food now. So we're heading over to the buffet. Yeah, so this is a breakfast buffet. So we've got a lot of scrambled egg, bacon, sausage, little uh, potato pieces. Biscuits, yeah, French toast, pancakes, obviously we've got the Mickey waffles. Oh, we've got some crepes making, yeah, got a little crepe station. Oh, they look really good actually. Don't they look good? Yeah. Wow. Dessert. Breakfast dessert, is that a thing now? <laughs> got some more pancakes with chocolate chips in there and tater tots. Loving the tater tots, so I will be getting a few of them. Oh, we've got some more bits and bobs over here. Tofu, wow. Poached egg and potato hash. Poached, poached egg and potato hash. That's nice. I'll have to try one of them. Yeah, more sausages, more bacon, more scrambled egg. We've got some fresh fruit and what have you around this side. Okay, so we've got a fully loaded table here. Um, while we were away getting our food, the uh, server brought over, we got Pog Juice, aka Jungle Juice, which we absolutely love, so we're really excited to get that. Uh, Rachel had a coffee brought over, I had a pot of tea with some Twinings English breakfast, and she did bring over this, um, It's a, apparently it's a new thing they've brought in, it's a Yacht and Beach Club, it's a salted caramel bread with a shot of vanilla, um, and we're encouraged to pour the vanilla onto the bread. I'm not sure how I feel about that for breakfast. Well, I know how I feel about it. I'm very excited about it, actually. But yeah, go for it, pour it on, Rach. She said, just pour it on. Don't be, she said, uh, don't be shy, just get it on there. So um, we'll take a word for it, get that on there. And um, we'll pull that apart and give it a go. Um, but yeah, while we was up there, got some um, potato hash brown pieces, just some small pieces, just to start with. These are mini waffles, by the way. I thought they were Mickey, but because this is um, a mini mouse dining um, experience, they're mini waffles, um, a couple of sausages. But um, yeah, we are going to be taking a couple of trips up to the uh, breakfast buffet, aren't we? So we don't want to fill our plates up too much. But yeah. Oh, are they? I wonder what other music started was. Troy Jungle Juice or Pog Juice, as they call it. Because apparently it changed, didn't it? But I've just had a sip and I'm not tasting the difference. It tastes the same to me personally. You tasting the difference? Yeah. Oh, can you? See, I can't. It tastes a bit more watered down. Oh. It's not as strong as it's still not. Yeah. It's not as strong as it used to be. Oh, okay. It's still good. Yeah. No, I bet I did hear that they changed it. Didn't they change the? I think it's the supplier. Yeah, they changed suppliers for it. So uh, we did hear online there was a bit of a ruffle about it, but I still think it's amazing. We need to try this before it goes all soggy. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know whether you're supposed to use a knife and fork or what, Rach, but okay. Oh, dude. Just do it. Gonna be on a sugar rush round at Cat. Feels like this should be a dinner dessert, not a break, well a breakfast starter. <laughs> very nice though, very sweet. Really interested to see what this poached egg on a what potato? Hash potato. Hash. hash. So it's like a hash brown in there or not? Oh no, it's not hash brown. Okay. Okay, give it a whirl. Is it? So what is that? It says it says hashed potato. Is it like a just like a a croquette? Like it's like so it's like mashed potato in the middle. Yeah, it looks like it's got like maybe peppers or something in it. Actually, you know what? I can grab a selfie. I can multitask in Perfect. Thank you so much, me. Thank you. Thought I'd give a couple of them crepes a go, they look really good. And yeah, obviously I've got to go for the mini and Mickey waffles. And she brought over my own jug of syrup. Oh, that was a bit too much, but you can never have too much syrup. Rachel's gone for fruit. Boring. No, you should probably actually... Yeah, 12th cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, <12th> cup of coffee. <laughs> I think we've forgotten a little bit how much we enjoy the character breakfast. We almost didn't do one this trip. Yeah. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we did have um, Topolino's books, but we decided to cancel that because one, it was a very early time, so like it was 7.30 a.m. We had to be there for 
Um, I don't know why we thought that was a good idea when we were booking that at the time, but when it came actually time to do it, we were like, no, that's too early. But thankfully we managed to get this like yesterday and it's 10 a.m. we got it yeah. for and it was absolutely fantastic. We had some really good character meats there. Lovely, yeah. yeah, and the food's just amazing. Just on the juices as well, we forgot about the pug juice, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Completely forgot about the pug juice, but really loved that. And we liked that it was a buffet as well. Yeah, 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 it was really good. Um, and that came to, what was that? We did get annual pass yeah, discount there. Yeah, it was $86 there. with annual pass discount. Yeah. Did you get something like 15% discount? Yeah, money well spent. Um, we are just sitting on these rocking chairs now, just <laughs> trying to rock off that energy. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, so yeah, we're going to be sitting here for about 15, 20, just resting up a little bit, and then we're going to be heading on into Epcot. Just about to scan into Epcot now. Oh, I can see Minnie over there. But anyway, what I was about to say was, do you realise the significance of this? Of what? What we're about to do? Tap in for the last time as pass holders. Exactly. This is going to be the last time we tap in as pass holders. The last time we get the green, pink, pixie dust check in. Wah, wah, wah. Take it in. Good morning. Perfect, thank you. Did you take it in? Did you take it in? Yeah, Minnie Mouse got changed quick, didn't she? She was all dressed for the beach party 20 minutes ago. Now she's all in a traditional outfit. Tell you what, she is something, ain't she? What a woman. Back to the front of Epcot, looking up at Spaceship Earth. We are definitely going to head on to Spaceship Earth first, but there's a couple of photo pass photographers around, so we figured we'd get a uh, get a photo. Which one do you want? There's a 360 one, but haven't we already had that one? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe. Well, this one over here. Yeah, okay. Together. We'll grab her. We'll grab her. Love it. Don't ever change it, even though they are planning to. Is it a refurb though, or is it a complete scrap? I don't know. Yeah, we know they're planning on doing something to it. It would be interesting to know whether they're just refurbing it, or whether they're planning to gut it and completely turn it into something new. I hope it's not the latter, because it's a real classic. It'd be like ET, it'd be like a Universal pulling out ET. Um, anyway, our boarding group's just been called for Guidance of the Galaxy, so we're heading straight over to do that now. Just past that new Creations Cafe, we've never been in there, have we? Oh no, it's Connections Cafe. Um, yeah, they put this in, what, six months ago? This will actually be our second time riding Guardians. We came into Epcot on our first night in Disney World, yeah. Um, and we did Guardians. It was something we did really want to do. We actually lining laned it, but this time we got a virtual queue for it. Um, Rachel was up at 7 a.m. this morning to, to ensure that we got one. God bless her soul, she got one. It's a wild ride. Rachel's new favourite ride in Disney? New favorite in Disney, yeah. In Disney, she did specify though, so I think Velocicoaster still does. Just pips it. Yeah, but uh, no, I mean, it's a great ride, but I've still got to stay true to Flight of Passage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's just Don't get me wrong though, that is incredible. I do really enjoy that, but Flight of Passage is still Disney number one. But uh, take nothing away from that, it's take amazing. nothing away from that. We have been messaging Annie and Pete throughout the morning to see where our times line up because obviously when we get into a line they get into a line back and forth but it looks like we're both kind of aligned we're going to go meet them off soaring they are literally about to get on aren't they in what five minutes so uh yeah we're going to go meet them off there and uh, say hey so yeah we just met up with annie pete and little oscar there we finally managed to get a time and we were really fortunate that our trips crossed over as well as they did i mean we've literally got a, this is our last day 
uh, you guys just got here, so it, it did uh, work out really well. We've just worked our way around to the American Pavilion just to get a couple of drinks. We've all gone for beers, and Annie, you've gone for what did you go for? It's like a lemonade cocktail. What alcohol is this though? As long as it's not got Jack Daniels in, because Pete told me that you don't like Jack Daniels, so we were sensible there. It's, uh, it's red cherry bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice. No, that's the main thing. Yeah, so we've just been telling you, you guys about Guardians and what to expect because, yeah, we've just done it for a third time. Yeah. You guys are due to do it this evening. Yeah. yeah. So without giving you any spoilers, we're just letting you know that it's fantastic and you should really enjoy it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue uh, continue drinking and having some good times. So we've just made our way over to the Italian pavilion. Um, we've got the ladies a Prosecco each. They look pretty small Proseccos, but I'm sure, like Pete said, they've got a quite wide body on them. Um, but we're, yeah, we're going to try and get like a, a beer or something, so we'll... Uh, well, we will have drank this by the time you come back. Sip it. Yeah, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> so they finished off their, what they're calling thimbles. I mean, I, I always think that's a respectable drink. What do you think, Pete? Do you think that's a respectable drink? I think it, it looks less than what it is. Yeah. I think that's a good size drink. <laughs> so the, uh, the ladies chose their own drinks, didn't you? What have you gone for? I've gone for a Prosecco. Okay. And you have gone for a... The Rosé Regala, which Rachel described as Christmas in a glass. And yes. Nice, nice. So, so I think the moral of the story is let you get your own drinks. And uh, me and Pete are good with ours. <laughs> so we've come into the Mexico Pavilion because Annie and Pete and Oscar have got dining reservations at the restaurant here in the Mexico Pavilion, but we thought we could sneak in the three Cabaneros before they've got to uh, go get their food. So uh, yeah, if we could sneak in a ride together, that'd be awesome. Oscar said do boys and girls, so you guys are going on your own. <laughs> <laughs> and that just about wraps up our time here with our three new amigos. They're going to go off and get their dinner and we're going to leave them in peace. But yeah, thanks for joining us guys. It's really good to meet you both and uh, have a couple of drinks. We'll be definitely sure to link their channel below. I mean, they're getting up to so much more. They've got a Disney Cruise coming up, Universal Studios, so they're going to be doing a hell of a lot. So I'll definitely go over and check them out. But yeah, once again, guys, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks again, Oscar. Good night. Yeah. Fortunately, that is our last stroll around Epcot. Not only Epcot, our last Disney World Park. Sad times. Sad times, yeah. We're going to head over, freshen up, shower up, because we're heading off into Disney Springs, remember? Re bleh, remember? So there's two drinks I've got to my head. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we're gonna, gonna go eat at the boathouse, I believe it was. Yeah, boathouse. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to that. Um, just to round off an amazing trip, we've got a nice meal planned. Should be really nice. And back in Disney Springs for the last time this trip. Santa Rachel, it was really random on the bus coming in from uh, Caribbean Beach. They were showing the old, remember the old Super Mario film from the 90s? The really bad Super Mario film? I've never watched it. Rachel's never watched it, she's really invested in it. She's like, who's this? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> we're not watching it when we get back and see that much, it's awful. But uh, yeah, really nice to be back in Disney Springs. And it's a really nice way to end our trip because yeah. uh, we do love it here. So yeah, boat house bound. This is just one thing that we've never really got on board with. Uh, you right just just noticed. Yeah, this is the line for um, Gideon's. That's it. Yeah. So this is the the cookie shop that everybody everybody goes absolutely nuts for. We've just. I mean, we like cookies. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's just absolutely insane. Like it's the longest wait in the entirety of Disney Springs for a couple of cookies. I bet they're amazing. I bet they are absolutely incredible. But um, we'll just wait until that that uh, hype dies down a bit. So this is us for the night, the boathouse. We've had our eye on this place for quite a while now. We've watched a few vlogs on it. Very excited for it. But yeah, let's roll.
first up they brought some of the appetizer bread out which I'm always a big fan of. Uh, yeah we got some table water and Rachel went for a cocktail which she's had her eye on for a long time. What was the name of it? Duck Duck? Duck Duck Raz and yeah you get a little floating rubber ducky which is very cute. How is it? I'm hoping it's nice. I mean you've been dreaming about it for weeks now. Is it? Yeah, it tastes like um, blue raspberry. Oh, very nice. Blue raspberry slushy. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you like it because it would have been devastating if it was awful. <laughs> Food is up and I have gone for the steak and fries. I like the little touches they have like on the steak knife there. You can see the boathouse and we noticed on Rachel's drink, you can just see there it says, oh wait, we're not focusing. It says boathouse on the glass as well. Nice little touches like that. Uh, and Rachel, what did you go for? The mahi tacos. Mahi tacos. So, yeah, we're looking good. Uh, bread has gone, obviously. I mean, that bread. It's a good job we don't have bread like that in the UK. Imagine if our Warburton's was like that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, bon appetit. I think it's safe to say that that was Rachel's favourite meal, wasn't it? It was nice, yeah. Completely cleared the whole plate. Yeah. You'd definitely go back there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, where's, uh, where's Barcelona? Is that his name? No. Barbados. Barbados. She, um, she took the rubber ducky and we've nicknamed him Barbados after our resort. Oh, he's in my handbag somewhere. Oh, you buried him in your handbag? You can't love him that much. <laughs> he's sick for the price on your shoulder. I'd lose him. He's wearing him on your shoulder. Here he is. Here little, he is. little Barbados. Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we decided to head over to Ghirardelli for desserts. It's something, again, something that we've always wanted to do but never got around to doing. Look at this bad boy. Um, what did... Magical Sunday. Yeah, Magical Sunday. So just your, your bog standard, kind of like, you know, vanilla ice cream, um, hot food sauce, yeah. uh, cream, but um, it's Ghirardelli. Mickey ear wafers. Mickey ear wafers. But uh, yeah, we're just going to sit here now and uh, enjoy this. Just got into World of Disney, looking at the mug situation. I mean, I'm out of the running because I went for a Cabana Bay mug. But uh, Rachel's got a difficult choice to make. She's found a really nice up mug uh, with uh, Carl and Ellie on. Um, Carl and Ellie, we dressed up as for Mickey's Not So Scary a couple of years ago, so they've got a special place with us. But she also found a Daisy Duck mug. Um, all, it's all about me, so you've got a choice to make Daisy Duck or oh, tough, tough decisions. And me and Rachel have had our eye on this, haven't we, for a while. A huge Epcot Spaceship Earth cookie jar, but we would just never be able to get that home in one piece. Uh, the only, the closest thing we found is you can buy them on eBay. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's $60 here. On eBay, they're like $140. Obviously, it's, you know, resellers getting a markup on it, but at least we know that it would be transported safely. If it didn't, we'd be covered through eBay, but it would be so cool on our, our counter, kitchen counter, wouldn't it? Because it's we've got a grey and white theme. Uh, that would go in so well, but maybe one day. It just, it just sucks that we're so close, but yeah, so far. I know. <laughs> Look at this lounge fly. Official Disney Parks lounge fly, haunted mansion. That is. It glows in the dark. It glows in the dark. Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I may have to buy that. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. What's what's the damage on this? Eighty-five. That's a good bag. That is. That's a good bag. I'm not too keen on this one. This is this isn't even a lounge fly, is it? Don't think so. And Rachel decided to go for the up mug. It had too much sentimental value, didn't it? Too much sentimental value. Too cute. It was. It's very nice. <laughs> so mugs acquired. And that's a wrap. Another trip done. Another trip ticked off. Felt very strange with the split trip. Something yeah. we're gonna have to get used to. But um, it's not, you know, not a bad thing by any means. We just know we've got to pack 
put the stuff on top of the case that we're getting <laughs> at first. We're learning these things, we're getting there, but university is definitely uh, clawing its way into our, uh, our plans more and more. We are really enjoying Universal. Not as much as Disney though. Not but. as much as Disney, don't get us wrong, but Universal is uh, definitely creeping into into our schedule more and more. Yeah, but, um, we've had an epic trip. Yeah, we've had an epic trip, and uh, what, as usual guys, thank you so much for following along. Yes, it started first to rain. Time, first time this trip, it started to rain. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as usual guys, thank you so much for following along. We really enjoy these videos and it just means so much that there's people out there that enjoy watching them. Uh, so, although we haven't officially got anything planned yet, unofficially we have got a trip planned next year. Um, although it's not booked, it's going to be a big one. Um, so yeah, be sure to stick around to see if, uh, if we pull the trigger on yeah. that. 90% sure we are, but yeah, it's going to be a good one. So uh, yes, just hang around, keep us in the sub list, just hang around. <laughs> and until then guys, we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.